This is Garth Holman for TeachersForTomorrow.net with uh, another tutorial in our remote learning series. So this is on Wikisites. Um, we're typically going to always start from our Gmail and use the waffle to find things. And my sites is here. You may have to look down further. And again, if it's not here, you may have to just Google Google Sites. It will auto-log you in and you'll end up on the same screen I'm going to. Most of you will see it inside your Gmail. When you click, um, we're going to go to new sites. Now I'm going to have sites in here. Some of you will already go to new sites. It's just the way this is set up. But I'm going to go to new sites. I would rather we're all in new sites to start. I have a lot of things here, but if you look at the bottom right, I see this plus sign. That creates a new site. You just click it. So at this point, you've created a web page. Um, that's really all you have to do to get something started. It's going to um, do some basic things. First, we can title it so I can say my remote you know, classroom, Mr. H, right? However you want to name that. Your title could be just welcome to our classroom, whatever you want it to be. Um, and the reality is you've built pages. We're just gonna do like two basic things here. Let's say we wanted to put a text box in, so you click it, it just builds it, and you can type welcome to our remote classroom. Now, you could type whatever you wanted, as much as you want. Notice you have some icons here, there's a link. So I am gonna highlight this. You can link any word to a link, and you can take it to other web pages or any link anywhere. So um, I can go to Google, I'm not Google, well, let's just go to um, Google Photos. It should open up my photos. I can copy that address and put a link in. That is pretty simple to get links to your kids. Um, other than that, you've got images, things from your drive, and your embed. You can also use the different layouts. So if you want the kids to see a picture, right, we can add a picture and you can upload that. You can do YouTube, you can do calendar, you can do map, you can do from drive. Um, you can select images. Let's just see what is in there, right? So they're letting you go to Google image search and I could do, you know, Garth, all know, whatever you're teaching. Um, none of those are really me in this particular search, but let's just use this cool building. I click it and say insert still works and then I could write um, you know click below to read a doc um, needed for class tomorrow here I could put the link link to reading this doesn't have to be real set up as you build you will learn how to make things um, more unique and so, um, again, you could take them to, I'm just going to go to NPR, and whatever happens to be the top story. Um, I click this. Not that you'd want this to read necessarily, but you get the idea. I can highlight this, and I've now got a reading to my kids. That's it for building your first page. Um, the one thing I would point out is this could be just a welcome page. I'm just kind of starting to show you what else you can build. So that's it for kind of building. 